You guys want to know a crazy strategy that doesn't require in-depth knowledge of ICT, market structure, or Elliott Wave? Come here. All it's going to take is a calendar. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a banger of a video for you. We're going to go over one of the main institutional levels that I use to trade the markets. And no, it's not the previous week higher, the previous week low. And guess what? It's got a very simple trading strategy built into it. Can you guess what it is? It is the Monday range. Super simple, not overly complicated, not much else to it. Let's jump into it. So you might be asking yourself, why the Monday range? What's the significance? How do you even establish the Monday range? It's very simple. To start off, the Monday range is a very important institutional level that sets the trend for the week. What an old pit trader told me is that once the Monday range breaks, it means the price is likely to trend in the direction of the break for the remainder of the week. He also explained to me that there's also algos that are tuned to that. They're tuned to the Monday range and turn on once there's a break in either direction. However, these levels do act as strong support and resistance until that level is broken. And because we know that price tends to range more than it trends, and that's just a fact, we can then position ourselves to try to play the statistics and trade the Monday range. So this is how you do it. Deviations of the range. Okay, the easy way to establish your Monday range is literally just putting on the indicator beam levels and setting it for your Monday high and low. Once you have that on, on your chart, what we're looking for for this strategy is just deviations of the range. So what, what does that mean? A deviation of the range is simply this. Price drops below the range and then comes back into the range. Okay, simple as that. Same thing on the other side. If price comes up above the Monday high, okay, and then comes back within the range, that is a deviation of the range. We swept the highs, came back within. Where's the likely target? Well, the way that I like to trade it is to trade it either to the opposite side of the range, down there, or trading it to the midpoint of the range. So we can use our fib here to find our midpoint, which is right about there. So the Monday range essentially has built-in targets for us, which is nice, as a recap. This is how I like to trade the Monday range. I like to trade the deviations of the range and sending it back to the other side. So if price breaks down below the Monday low, breaks down below the Monday low, but then reclaims the level, I'm looking for a reason to go long here to send it either to the top side of the range or either or the midpoint of the range. Right here, the 0.5 FIB, okay? What's nice about the Monday range is that it has built-in targets. We have a previous day high, by the Monday high, and we also have a previous day low by the Monday low. That in itself adds liquidity and is a perfect target level. A lot of times what you're gonna see of the Monday range, price will tend to have some sort of reaction on to off the midpoint, okay? That's why a lot of times it's good to take profits at the midpoint because you'll sometimes have price come up to the midpoint and then drop back down, okay? So you could scalp this all day long. All day long it happens like that and then jumps up. Same thing with the Monday high. If price comes up, comes up, pierces the Monday high, deviates, comes back within the range, you're looking for a reason to short this down to the bottom side of the range, okay? You can target the bottom side or you can target the midpoint. Now let's run through some examples to show you what it looks like. Very simple, you don't need to add anything else. You don't need to add liquidity to this. You don't need to add market structure. You can literally just try to trade this with the very basic, basic, basic understanding of the range and then a close within the range after a deviation outside of the range. Okay. So initial push right outside of the Monday range. Okay. Fairly, you know, fairly common that that happens. Um, a lot of times when we break through one of the ranges pretty early, it means that we're usually going to be just trending in that direction for the remainder of the week. However, if we do jump back into the range, a lot of times it means we're just going to send it to the top side of the range. We grab liquidity at the bottom, and now we're just ready for another move up. If we zoom in here, we have a close above right here. We have a close above right there. And then we have a retest with this red candle. But we also have another push above right there. And then another retest with this last red candle here. So that could have been your indication to go long because now we've reclaimed the range, okay? So now let's say we've taken our long here. We've taken our long once we've reclaimed the range, we retested the range, you could put your stop loss right outside the Monday low, or you could put it down here where there's a clear low, and then you know target the top side here, the Monday high. Clear two to one risk reward, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And now you have a pretty safe stop loss right outside the range, okay? So let's let it play out. Okay, it looks like price is having some rejection a little bit at the 0 
like I said, like I said, it's a good profit target level, especially if you can have a good stop loss placement right below the low here. If let's say you had a good stop loss placement below here, this could have been an easy trade to 3R, right? It's not always going to be as easy as that. You're not always going to have like a clear low. Sometimes it'll be way down here. And the only way to have a good risk reward is to target the high. Um, but, you know, sometimes you'll be able to take partials at the, at the mid range. As you can see here, we're seeing resistance at the mid range. So, so it's a clear indication that that is a level to potentially take profits. And as a level to take profits, and then if price comes back down and has some sort of bounce, again, you could just scalp this back up, back to the mid range, stop loss below the low. Pretty simple. It's a simple built in range into price action that, you know, you don't need, you don't need a big understanding of complex concepts to be able to use this. It's super simple. Okay, so let's keep letting it play out as if we were targeting the top of the range. Okay, so now we've broken above the 0 0.5 and boom, full profit on this. So that's a nice two to one risk reward, easy, okay? But now let's keep letting the range play out. We're only Tuesday, we're only Tuesday and we've just made a full profit trade, okay? Let's see how what else we can do. Okay, it looks like we're coming back towards the range. Um, we'll see if this bounces off as support or if it breaks down and then we could potentially trade this all the way back down. Okay, boom, broke below. So how would we want to get into this? Well, you could either get in on the close right here, the first close back into the range, stop loss above here. It's not the most, it's not the safest entry. It's not the safest entry. What tends to be a safer entry is a break within and then a retest and then getting in on the retest. Um, but you know, a candle close below could be an entry. We're not gonna take the candle close below. We're gonna take a retest of the level. And if it doesn't hit the retest, we miss it and too bad, you know, touches life. Okay, so we do get a retest of the level. We're having clear rejections by these wicks that are shown here. And now we're just gonna enter here, target the low again, and with our stop loss above this high. Ooh, took a little bit of draw down there, but, oh, okay, got close to the Monday low, not quite, full profit, let's see here how it's reacting off the 0 0.5, a little bit of reaction off the 0 0.5, nothing crazy, but, you know, would have been an easy profit target there, 1.4R, not bad, but we're looking for a little bit bigger, so 2.82, and boom, trade number two, that's two trades within the first week, that we're testing this and you know it's it's wednesday it's only it's wednesday <laughs> so now we've broken below okay now we've broken back into the range so you know maybe there's another trade set up here we'll see but we broke down below back into the range okay so we can either on the close here enter or we can wait for a retest I say let's wait for retests, so slow the price down and see. And then if we can get price to come a little bit closer, it doesn't need to hit directly onto the Monday low, but if it comes like around here, then we can enter, you know, stop either below the low here, or we see what plays out and then target again the Monday high. Okay, so let's let this play out and we'll see. Okay, boom. Perfect retest of the Monday low. So let's say we got in uh, at the top of this candle close. We saw the retest, we didn't quite get in right away, and then we put our stop loss there. So what can we do here? We can pull this up to the Monday high. We can maybe pull this down to this low here so we can get at least a two to one risk reward on this. And we can try to let this play out again. See what happens. So this is our third trade setup in this one week. Just using the Monday high and the Monday low. Okay, breaks down below, takes some drawdown. A little bit more drawdown. Just kind of bouncing on that level. A little rejection at the 0 0.5. Okay, a little bit more drawdown. Ooh, and then we would have gotten, ooh, <laughs> okay, wait. Not quite stopped there. Not quite stopped on that one. So we're going to say that we're still in this. And let's see if this ends up stopping this out. 
or if it ends up hitting our full profit. Oh, okay. Okay. But again, guys, you know, this hasn't hit full profit, got close, it broke up above the 0 0.5. But look at how it's holding support on the Monday low here. Multiple opportunities to get in long here. You know, broke down below, reclaimed the level. Big push up. That could have been a potential long right there. You know, break down below, reclaim the level, either long here or long here. Stop loss, you can go below the low here, below the low here. And let's say you just targeted the mid-range, 2.38R. Target it, you happen to get the Pico top on this, 3.77R, right? And then again, right here, bang, another one here, you know, another one here. Let's say we're, we got long on the retest again of the Monday low, okay? And now we have a bit more of a clear and validation level. Maybe we go right here. It's a bit... It's a bit iffy because it's one, two, three lows at the same level, which could be liquidity, um, which could create a big liquidity level, liquidity pool. But, you know, who knows? For, for the sake of illustration, why not, right? <laughs> so just for the sake of illustration, this is a 10-hour trade. We're up... About 5R. Let's just let it play out. And stop this out. Okay, so we got stopped out of the, the trade. So, you know, we had three setups. Let's not count these. We had three setups. We did get stopped out of the second one. But now we're still up, what, 3R on the week because they're around 2R each. Just using this. And if you, if you scalped to the mid-range here and here and here, then, you know, you could be up significantly more. So that's just one example. Let's move on to something else. Uh, let's jump on here and check out this Monday range. In this Monday range, look at how price action is respecting the Monday low here. We'll go into replay. So now the low has been created, okay? Broke below, right back above, okay? Now let's set our 0 0.5. Set our 0 0.5. This is our mid range. So we longed on the reclaim. Let's say we targeted the mid range. We have a nice 2.7 R setup right here. Stop below the low. You can easily target 2.7 R, just a scalp right to the top here. Boom, there we go. First trade done and it's Tuesday. Nice 2.7 R, you're up 270 bucks on the week. Okay, just using this one concept. So, okay, so we just hit our full profit. Now let's get rid of that and then let's see what we can do now. Price is still holding the Monday low support. Getting another test at the 0 0.5 here. Rejection. Now we've hit the Monday low, we've broken below. Now let's wait for price to break back above to be able to take this long. We broke above, you know, you could have longed right here. Again, targeting that mid-range. Stop loss below either this low or this low. So 2.2 R, let's see what happens. Boom, okay, stopped out. So we're still up, we're still up on the week. But now, again, so we've stopped out, we've swept liquidity at the bottom, now we're back closing above. So we can either long here or see if there's a retest. Bit of a retest here, that could have been potentially your long, right to the top. Maybe you go here, maybe you go a little bit lower so you can just get that 2R at least. Um, and then, yeah, that's your long. Boom, full profit. That's one loss, two wins this week, and we're Wednesday. So we're up on the week. Okay, let's keep it, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling just using this one concept. Breaks below the Monday range and then comes back up. So right there, that could have been another long on this close here. Stop loss, you know, we can go below the low here to get a nice risk reward, 2.61, that's not bad. Target a little bit lower, boom, right there. Ooh, it doesn't quite hit the full profit, but we're gonna count that because Likely, if I'm watching this, I'm just taking profits right here. So, another full profit trade. That's three now. Three full profit trades now. Just using this one concept, the, the money range. It's pretty crazy, in my opinion. Again, 
0 0.5 is holding up very well right now. It's holding up as resistance. So again, this is why I'm saying that, you know, the 0 0.5 is a good profit level. It's a good profit target level, especially if you can get a good RR on it. You get a retest of the level again, okay? You could potentially long on the retest. I like to wait for deviations and not just retest of the level because it's almost like catching a falling knife sometimes. If you just try to get in here, usually it's best to wait for something like this to get in. For those who've watched some of my recent videos, uh, you'll notice what this pattern is. But, you know, we'll wait to see if we get something like that here before we end up taking another long. There we go. So a bit of a breakdown below, a little sweep, close above. Maybe you could take that as your long. Maybe you could take that as a long. Maybe with your stop loss real tight like that. 0.18%, it's a bit tight. It's a bit of a tight range for your stop loss. I'd probably move it down a little bit just to be a little bit safer. And again, target mid-range, 3R potentially, right? And another full profit trade. So what are we up here? That's four trades in a row. Most of them 2R, one of them 3Rs. In one week of trading, just the money range. That's it. It's it's simple, right? You don't need to think about market structure, liquidity. Oh, was that a break of structure? Was that a change of character? None of that. None of that. This simple, okay? So that's the money range. As you can see, it's a pretty powerful level to be basing some of your trades off of. Super easy strategy, super basic. You don't need anything too complicated and you don't need to be a superstar ICT trader or a genius to be to understand how to trade this, okay? Very simple. Honestly, I think the best trading systems are the simple ones, okay? If there's too many nuance, if there's, if there's too much nuance, if there's too many variables, it's too easy to get tripped up. There's too much nuance, there's too many reasons to be stopped at, okay? With something like the money range, it's very simple. When If you deviate it back into the range, you take it to the other side of the range. Simple, easy, no problem. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this content, make sure to give it a like, make sure to subscribe. And if you're looking for a trading community that has like-minded individuals who like to trade a whole bunch of different things, whether that's harmonic butterflies or market structure, join Come Mastery in the link in the description below, okay? An amazing Discord community. Everybody there is awesome. Looking for a place to call home? Join there, okay? Thanks everybody, ciao.